Above, you can see a working health bar in Game Builder Garage. Below are some obstacles that if we hit them, then the health bar will go down by one. Right now in this example, we only have three hit points until the game resets, but this can be easily expanded to have as many hit points as you want. Once you lose all your health, then it gives an output and that can be put to whatever you want. So without any further ado, let's see the heartbeat of this health bar. To start off, you need an object break nodon to go into a counter nodon. This object break nodon should be looking for anything that you want to hurt the player, and anything that you want to hurt the player has to break on contact with the player. That's the only way that this is going to work. So now, every time the player runs into an enemy or an obstacle, then this counter should go up by one. Now the next step looks really complicated, but I want you to stay with me and listen to me explain it because it's actually really simple, it just looks complicated because there are a lot of lines. That one counter nodon has to go into three compare nodons, and those compare nodons should be set to equal. The other thing going into those compares is three constant nodons, all with different values. The first one should have a value of 1, and that goes into the bottom. The second one has a value of 2, that goes into the second. And the third one has a value of 3, and that goes into the third. So, why have we done this? Well, we want one thing of the health bar to break every single time we hit an obstacle. So for that to happen, we need the compare node on to always be on the lookout for when the counter hits 1. And when the counter hits 1, well, the constant is always at 1, so that means that it should break the first block. It's the same story for all of the compare and constant nodons, except for the one at the top, the one where the health bar is completely depleted. The final compare nodon should be hooked up to whatever you want to happen once the health bar is depleted. Here I have a 2 second timer into a retry, and that serves as kind of like a death. But the output of this does not have to be a retry. You can reward the player for destroying everything. If you want to do that, then yeah, you can. It'll work just fine, and it is totally flexible, and you can even hook it up to another nodon contraption if you want. Make a big interweaving connectivity of contraptions. And this is all well and good, but right now the player can't really see the health bar. And that's kind of important, it's the bar part of the health. So to fix that, all of those compare nodons go into launch nodons. And those launch nodons are the things that break the health bar itself. And the launch things are invisible, so the player doesn't see them, they just see the bar exploding. There are a few very important notes for these launch nodons that you need to have so that this works at all. First of all, like I already said, the objects that they launch should not be visible. Also, make the rate in which the objects spawn very fast, and make the speed that they are dropped at at zero. The reason we do this is because even though they're invisible, they're still solid and they could mess up the gameplay if they are left unchecked. So if they keep respawning over and over again at the top, then they can never go down to the arena where the player is. And this should also be a launch one nodon. Make them all aim down and you're set for your health bar. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.